In this video, I will talk about linear regression with multiple variables. In the last uh, couple of videos, we studied about how to do uh, linear regression with a single variable. In this video, we will talk about uh, how to build a regression model when we have multiple variable in place. We will continue with the same example. We uh, just to remind you, we are trying to find out or predict the house price based on the uh, size of the house. Uh, we have taken this example in the last couple of videos. We have added a, a couple of more uh, input variables. Uh, we have now age of the house and the number of bedrooms. As you know that if the age of the house is more, uh, typically the uh, house price is, uh, is something that depends on the age and it, uh, it is less when the age is more. I mean uh, we expect this usually. And, with the, uh, and the second variable input variable that we have added is the number of bedrooms. If uh, more the number of uh, bedrooms, uh, more is the house price. That is something that is expected. We, well, we can actually extend this to any number of variables. We can extend this to n number of variables, any number of variables. When we have more than one input variable, how do we write the hypothesis? Just to remember, remind you, a hypothesis is nothing but the equation of a regression line. You can look at the screen. When we have n number of uh, input variables, the hypothesis is like this. Theta 0 plus theta 1 x1 where theta is the parameter. And then it uh, we, we just write it up to xn. So, um, but the only problem is that we cannot draw this on a graph. As you know, uh, on a pane or paper or on a two dimensional, we can uh, only show the three dimensional figure. Beyond that, it's very difficult. So, uh, it's very difficult to visualize so many variables in the, uh, um, in the graph. So, we cannot plot it, of course. But to make it simpler, we can use it uh, in the matrix form. Uh, mat um, so the uh, hypothesis can be represented like this. We have one matrix, one column matrix with uh, one column and n rows. So it's a one cross n matrix from theta naught to theta n. Okay. And then we have a, a row matrix with x, x1 to x3. In fact, we should have also x naught. Um, one second. So we should also have x naught here. But always remember that x naught takes the value of one. So x naught is nothing but uh, you know theta zero and x naught. Okay. So x naught actually takes the value of one every time. So we don't need to write it, but just to make it look better, we just add this variable, but it actually doesn't exist. Uh, it, it's only for the uh, beautification of this equation, nothing more than that. So that's how the uh, uh, matrix form uh, look like. Uh, you know, this is a one cross n matrix. And the other matrix is a n cross 1 matrix. Okay. And for multiplication, it should be, these two should be same. The second term should be equal to the first term. And it's the same here. n here and n here. So we can represent in that form. We also represent this in this form. Okay. Theta transpose. So theta is a uh, matrix of uh, parameters and x 
is a matrix of the input variables theta transpose x okay uh, so what is theta theta takes this form theta 1 to theta n okay so transpose of this transpose means we just make it to uh, you know this is a, a row vector we just make it to a column vector we just make it like this theta 1 to theta n okay so that's how we represent this theta transpose uh, x okay it actually helps uh, you know uh, making things a bit simpler uh, in terms of understanding things um, <coughs> the next question is uh, how does the cost function look like well as you know the cost function uh, has the hypothesis so your h theta x is here and then your actual value okay y value here so in place of h theta x or which is the hypothesis e uh, equations you just put uh, theta transpose x okay so you just put theta transpose x and then uh, that is what the cost function is or else you can put the entire equation here but this is fairly very long so for notation purpose uh, uh, we use theta transpose x we can of course use this big equation the next question which is of course uh, a kind of an assignment for you is to find out what is the gradient descent what is the gradient descent for this cost function in the previous video we have uh, talked about the uh, gradient descent just uh, take the formula from there and uh, use this cost function and then find it out that what is the gradient descent when you have so many number of variables it's fa it's very simple just that we have uh, now more number of variable in place uh, in place of just one okay so that's about um, the uh, linear regression with multiple variables we call it uh, multivariate linear regression so multivariate is the term used when you have more than uh, more than uh, one number of variables multivariate so that's the term we use for this thanks